I'm Kristen Adair, and this is my journey to surgical correction for my pectus excavatum. Today is November 23rd. I had my surgery on November 8th, so I am now two weeks post-op. Um, so I am doing great, and um, just a couple of things I just wanted to touch base on. Um, I have noticed that since my surgery, I used to have really cold hands and feet no matter what all the time and it's gone um so that's awesome and i'm guessing it's just probably a circulation thing so now that i have better circulation i no longer have the constant cold hands and feet which is great um also i am now able to lay flat on my bed or the couch without any discomfort so that's a good step um, instead of lying propped up i'm able to lay flat now um, I still don't have any pain, which is great. Um, today is, uh, yesterday was exactly two weeks, so today I can start weaning off um, some of my medications, so I'll start that process today. And um, I have just, of course, the soreness still. As far as my back being sore, Dr. Jarzuski said that it was mainly because uh, basically, she changed my posture, so all the muscles in my back are going to have to start adjusting and moving because um, I have a different posture now, um, so I'll sit up straighter, which is good, um, but I just have to deal with the back soreness for now, and around this area right here, it's just a constant um, tight feeling. It almost feels as if um, I'm wearing a corset that's tied just way too tight. Um, even when I take my binder off, I still have that feeling, but um, I, I don't know how long that will last or if it will go away. It doesn't hurt. It's just something you have to get used to. I also wanted to mention, um, I put the picture up, but I did get the x-ray picture, and it shows the two bars that she put in, and it's kind of a freaky but cool thing to see it on an x-ray, and I have that on my page in a picture. Um, also, Dr. Jarzuski took a video of my surgery, so she said once it's done being edited and put together, she's going to send me a disc so I can put it onto my um, YouTube channel, so I will be adding that video once I get it, so um, kind of cool to watch. I can't wait to see it. Um, I also wanted to just give, like I said, I like to give tips. Um, so I am back home. As you can see, I have my, my mom helped me put my Christmas tree up. Um, so I'm excited for that. I love my Christmas tree. And um, so now that I'm home, I have to adjust to living here without the help of my parents. So this is just one thing I did. Uh, before my surgery, I went grocery shopping and just got stuff that's easy, um, just to microwave, easy to make stuff. Um, you obviously can't be doing any kind of lifting, so no boiling of pasta because you have to lift the water in the pan and all that, so, um, and draining it. So, um, just easy stuff, microwavable stuff, you can make sandwiches, whatever. Um, I also, you can't lift like a jug of milk, so obviously any other kind of drink you can't really lift to pour. So I went and got just individually bottled little tiny Gatorade, um, little orange juice you can do I have apple juice ones um, bottles of water so just easy things to drink that are just individually packaged so you don't have to lift something and pour it and um, so that's just a little tip and um, also when you take your medications uh, you don't sometimes you don't want to take them on an empty stomach since you'll be taking a lot of them so just something really quick and easy to eat I have just yogurt um, and then little jello applesauce little tiny package things that are just easy to quick quickly eat so that you can take that medication and feel okay. Um, I also wanted to go ahead and show you my brace. So I'll be wearing this brace. It's just a simple one. It's not one of the custom made ones. This is, this is a cheap little binder that they put on me in the hospital that they sent me home with. And um, I have to wear this for six weeks for my root flaring. And I kind of just wanted to show you it. So it's just a little Velcro, and you put it on yourself, wear it all day. I take it off to sleep. You don't have to, but I do. Um, I actually like wearing it. It feels better when I wear it, um, easier to move around. Um, so I also wanted to show you another tip. I am wearing a sports bra under here. Um, so what I did was I went and got a sports bra that's 
a couple, one size bigger than what I usually wear, which is, um, this is the large, because um, I didn't want it to be really tight. And this way, you'll see, I'm gonna show you without trying to show you anything. Um, let's see here, kind of wanted to show you my incision. Okay, so this is my sports bra, and as you can see, my incision is right here. So this kind of covers over it instead of a bra where a bra kind of lays on top of it and might bother it. So um, this is my incision and it's being covered by that. So just a nice um, bigger sized sports bra is something that I find helpful. Um, and I think that's it. So if I can think of anything else, I will make another video, but otherwise I will talk to you later. Bye.